Alright, so today is Wastegate Wednesday. This 4X5 had a Chinese exhaust on it with a flange that doesn't fit the turbo. It was leaking heavily right here. You can see the mark coming off the uh, flange. And let me show you what that caused. The uh, exhaust gases baked the actuator for the wastegate, which made it no longer move. And after a while of no longer moving, that meant this arm also no longer moves. You can see how easy it works on a new one. This is the uh, arm on the turbo I just had to take off. It's, it's completely shut. Let me show you the inside of this one. This is what gives you your boost control. This one is closed as you can see. And I can't even make it open with a hammer because it's so baked with carbon inside. There's always a little bit of an exhaust leak in here. Uh, you'll always see a tiny bit of soot coming out of here. So if the arm no longer moves, it just gets stuck after a long time and um, it's not gonna be fun to fix this. Easier way is gonna be to replace the turbo. Uh, the other thing I found on this Chinese exhaust is it had this hose which was spewing hot exhaust gases and melting things in, in the engine bay. Uh, when I had the car on the dyno, I smelled something burning I've never smelled before. It was like plastic and insulation. It was really weird. But uh, after I took the exhaust off this car, that uh, cleared up. <laughs> what was I smelling? So you get what you pay for, unfortunately, with exhausts. And uh, the other thing is there's this massive exhaust leak all over the small turbo. Uh, that could have been from the hose whipping around or who knows what. Uh, this car has seen better days, but it will see better days now that I'm working on it. 